Hey, what's up guys? It is a Friday night. The wife has officially gone out into town with friends, leaving me on my own. And what is it? It's Subnautica night. Pure, unadulterated hours of fun. Uh, oh yes. So fasten your seatbelt, guys. We're going for a drive. Okay guys, this is season one, episode one, and we are ready to go. A brand new game, and I want to try this game play out. Uh, see how many views I get, see what sort of uh, comments I get. See if it's any good. Uh, put all that practice, all that knowledge down. Wait, that's what you don't want to be doing, straight in the fire. Okay, so... You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Right, let's get going, guys. So, we aren't going to be doing this as a speed run. Um, but we are going to be doing this smooth and by the numbers. Uh, preferably as quickly as possible. But again, see how we go in terms of what sort of comments and likes, etc. that I get. Okay, so what do we need? What do we need? Let's uh, venture out. Right, location wise, ah, quite a good location. Very near the center of the map, which is pretty much there where the corals are sticking out. We have got a good location. Okay, let's go. Right, so let's start building up these resources. Just the basic ones for now. Um, and then get some stuff built. Copper, where are you? Yeah. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely. Yeah. No, you're not having me. Ah, oh, you did as well. Bloody hell. Bloody crash fish. So, obviously, with copper ore, always scout around these sort of areas. Um. Right, okay. Go for, ah, perfect. Now this, this little tunnel here is really resource heavy. It's fabulous for the uh, for the stuff. Quartz, copper, titanium, everything. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Right, okay, so what do we want to build first? Let's have a look. Let's take all this stuff back. I'm going to get as much stuff as I can. Let's get all this stuff back. Get building some gear. And then in no time, hopefully, I'm hoping by the end of this video, we'll have Seam off with maybe Depth Module 2. Maybe a bit of a small base. But we shall see. game never gets boring, I have to say. Right, okay, let's do it. Um, we need battery. In fact, we need a couple of those. Um, but on this occasion, let's turn, get some titanium going. Glass. Glass. Okay, what do we need, guys? We need standard tank. And I'm gonna go for, let's get some rubber. Um, bum, bum, bum. Flashlight, definitely. And the scanner. Uh, we'll do another battery. 
And another battery. Me as well. And then we're going to do the scanner and we're going to try and find the sea glider. And then on to the sea moth. Uh, can we do anything else? Let's do some more titanium. Let's get some grub. Stock up. Repair tool is something we're going to need. And I think in terms of repair tool, what do we need now for that? Uh, ba -ba -ba. We need... Cave sulfur. Okay, silicon rubber. Yeah, let's do this. So, now then, these guys aren't particularly dangerous when you go against the big ones, uh, when you've gone, gone against pretty much everything in the Subnautica game, you sort of get used to these guys. Okay, let's get as much of this stuff as we can, because we're going to need it. Alright, uh, copper, any more copper? Oh, there we go. Titanium, that'll do. A bit more copper seconds. there. Oh, I want to get this. I like living it on the edge, right to the last. No, right to the last breath. Okay. And we need cave sulfur. So I'm going to head up, get this other stuff in the chest, create some rubber, and then head on into the caves. It's going to get a little bit more interesting. A bit of a slow starter, but... Okay. Now. Rubber. Lubricum. Let's get it all used. Okay, what can we do now? So, cave sulfur, knife. Yeah, let's make a knife. Um, we don't need habitat builder as of yet. High capacity tank, we definitely want. Um, thermometer, I'm not too bothered about. What do we need? What do we need, guys? Okay, so, cave sulfur and silver. Check on the inventory, just to make sure it's got enough room. Yeah, it does. Right. Now, obviously, with K sulfur, pretty straightforward. You gotta go in the caves and avoid these bloody. I hate them. It's gonna. Oh, I didn't think he'd get me then. Just got it in there. Well done, pal. You did good. Right. There we go. And one other thing as well, guys. I'd like to say a good evening to Tom and Will. Uh, it has been a request. Sorry, guys. Um, I've not forgotten about you. I've just been very busy in terms of what games we're looking at at the moment. Um, now, I'm going to be disclosing a list of games that I'm going to be playing on in the next few days. I'm just trying to get, obviously, your guys, you know, what you think in terms of what I should be doing, and then the kind of games I like. Um, Breath's Edge is appealing very much at the moment, and uh, Soma, it's quite an old game, but it's one of those games I really do want to sort of look at and give a go, but we shall see. Okay, so... Further on, let's get all this converted. Rubber. Right, I'm gonna now try and find these parts for the sea glider. These frags. Uh, I believe we've got pretty much everything we can sort of, apart from fins, of course. Fins, but. Yep. Slam it all in there. Bum, 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 That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so we're good on energy, health, everything. Right, now, now then. 
So typically, the sea glider frags will be over at that wreck, which is south. If we can get the bearings right. A little bit freaky at night, but obviously you're not in the seam off, so you've got nothing to protect, but this is the safest zone, i.e. safe zone. Right, guys, okay, so. Now if I remember correctly, there should be a wreckage further south, small one here, which I'm going to have a look at. It's very odd, isn't it? Something you never see. Grab trap, I'm going to do that. Coming very under. Beacons, oh, definitely. 30 seconds. And what else have we got? Another beacon, complete it. Sure Grab traps. Okay, so we've got the beacon fragments. Now craft. Oh, and we're going to, again, head south. And where are you? Show me the love. There you are. I can see you. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Okay, we want to get some oxygen for this one because it is going to be a big dive down. No, you're not there. Okay. Let's try this way. Now, without the compass, it does get that little bit trickier. But you've just got to go with it. Obviously, not too close to that radiation zone. Ah, we're here now. This is the area. Vents, which I do recommend for those, anybody wanting to make in those thermal um, reactors. Thermal, used for energy effectively. Okay, so this is one of the main wrecks in the safe shallows. And what we're going to find here is hopefully the sea glider parts. And if not, then a bunch of all of the stuff. Get some stuff going. Sea glider part. I do want to venture in, but I'm just going to get some oxygen. Get up, get up. Um, there is a doorway which is typically around the side if I can find it but you've got to have your flashlight with this one because it does get a little bit tricky okay first PDA guys we'll read that in a minute Integrating new PDA and Sea glider sorted. Let's do the desk. We got anything else? I don't believe we have. Um, yes, we can do that. We need the repair tool for that one, which we need to build. Okay, let's get back. Have a look at what's going on. So, right, okay, repair tool. What do we need for this now? Jug by memory. Cave sulfur, which we've got. Titanium, silicon, yeah. And sea glide, lubricant, copper wire, titanium. All is good. Perfect. Head back to this, guys, and we should have a sea glider, which is going to make things a hell of a lot easier. And I don't know. Always got to take the resource as and when you find it. Because there's many times where you're literally looking for, for it. You know, something simple as copper. You're like, no, I have seen it. It's 
round here, and it's not. Okay, I want to get as much of this titanium. Can I have that, please? Thank you. Oh, no. All right, okay, that's interesting. More mobile vehicle bay. This fragment. Um, okay, daylight's come in, which is going to make things a hell of a lot easier. We're going to be going into the grass of the tours. Now, silver, a lot of people are under the impression you need to sort of go to grassy biomes. Uh, sorry, grassy plateaus. Um, that typically is the case, but you can find some silver in the caves around the safe shallows. Uh, but for this case, for this instance, I'm just going to simply go to grassy plateaus. It's a hell of a lot easier to be fair. Okay, so let's fix this uh, pod up. Let's build the sea glider, and we should be. Getting somewhere. Okay, guys. Ah, right. Convert that to titanium. And let's do it. Let's, uh, so we need cave silver. Yep, yeah, got it. Which we've got in here cave silver, rubber. And boom. So, that one, repair tool, job's a good one. Okay, some water. Right, okay guys, so what we're gonna be doing next is we need copper wire. So I think we may have copper. Yes, we have. And we should be able to get this seagull out of them. Uh, what else do we need for it? Copper wire battery. Yeah. Copper wire battery. Yeah. Oh, God. Do it. The sea glide. Nice. Increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Okay, so we now can sort of go into the deeper biome. Um, just going to allow us to get up quicker for the oxygen, obviously with the sea glider. Now, with obviously oxygen, Obviously, I've got the standard tank at the moment. High capacity tank is pretty much required. Um, hence the silver. What you can do, though, is you can always create two of each. So you just swap it over. Now, what you've got to do is if you've used one, then you've got to refill it with oxygen again, i.e. surface. Um, and then you should be good to go. Right. Lots of... Lots and lots of stuff around here. Let's get the bearings because I'm a little bit off track. We want to be going that way in a northwest sort of direction, which is where all the sandstone is and silver. I want to get some more silver before I head back. Don't make it a wasted journey. And sometimes you can find it. Go off. Go away. Um, and you can find it in the grassy plateaus. You don't have to venture as far as the um, grass. Uh, sorry, as far as the. Um, you don't. Sorry, you can find it in the kelp forest. You don't have to venture as far as the grassy plateaus. Okay. Let's dive down. Check along here. Yeah. We want sunstone, but beggars can't be choosers at the moment. Right, we want silver, more of it. Lots of frags here. See my fragment. Lucky find, because I've pretty much got them all. Oh no, bio fragment. 
Putting it fine, very fine. Okay, we're gonna need a rebreather at some point, but that can wait. Now, I really do want this silver. So, where you hide him? Certainly not mushroom forest way. I believe that's a bioreactor. Yeah. Bioreactor again. My god. Seamoth fragment. Thank god for that. Okay, so this is the northwest area. The grass of the source here. Done a video on this. Very, very rich in seamoth fragments. Rich in a hell of a lot of fragments, to be fair. The other sort of wreckages in going east, you're going to need radioactive suit for that. Um, and to be fair, the wreckages aren't that good. I don't really get a lot from them. So, do you need that rebreather? Alright, sandstone, here we go. Alright, I do want to start putting down some beacons, just get bearings. Is a lot of the time you can get bloody lost. All right. 30 seconds. Okay, so quite a lot of wreckages. So we're talking 600 meters away and northwest sort of direction. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so on the other side of that, I believe, should be the large wreckage. Detecting increased foreign In bacteria. The largest wreckage within the grass plateaus, but... Is advised. Trying to get my bearings at the moment, but I do believe that's a way, so... I'm going to take the silver back. Ah, come on, give me some more silver. Gold will be fine for now. On this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse Copper. Always Bird good. Okay, let's see what we've got. Some six power, we're doing okay. Let's get the seam off built. Mobile vehicle bay first, as always. Okay, titanium again. Battery, we're going to need, we are going to need the, I do want a beacon as well. And what else do we need? Oh, I want some water. Okay, so, let's have a look what we've got. And what do we need? We've got the repair tool. Sea glider we've got. Um, we wanted high capacity tank, so we need glass and the standard for that. Which is going to make a hell of a little difference. So glass and standard. Two uh, so glass. Another glass. Very annoying when I do that. Okay. High capacity tank. It's going to give us that extra bit of oxygen that we're going to need. Yes, that's more like it. Okay, so let's 
convert this. What do I have left? Right, let's stock all this up. A lot of titanium, but we're going to need it for the base. Uh, bop, 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 bop. Don't need that. I'll keep all the rest. In fact, I'll convert that to water. A lot of fish. Okay. In fact, let's just fix this thing up first before we go any further. this up. Nice. From other life okay guys, so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm using, I always use the Aurora initially before you get the compass as a landmark, as a bit of a, um, a beacon in terms of working out where to go. As I said before, northwest, but we do want to, we've come quite south to be fair, so we do want to sort of venture a little bit further north. That's quite a decent wreckage to be fair. Uh, can get some good stuff in here typically when you've got the torch and I believe it's from is it from the side is it from the back uh, there we have it third uh, sorry second Third one. Okay, guys, and um, compass. And I'm going to fix this up as well. Still plenty of oxygen. Do we have anything else? No. Ah, oh, get in there. Mobile fragments again, mobile vehicle bay again, more, 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 more of the same thing. Okay, I don't need the titanium at the moment, but that's good to know. Right, okay, let's Caution. get out of here. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. So we've got, we just need one frag for the CMOF. And we've done pretty well there, to be fair. I mean, this game, Every I think every time you play it, it always feels a little bit new. Because it just completely throws your balance in terms of starting location, where you are, where you need to go next. Okay. So if we venture... It's got to be, yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. Passing 100 meters. I do want to get as much of this sandstone as I can because I need the silver for the compass in particular. Biorexia, yeah, yeah. I'll come back for you shortly. Okay, so we have ventured off course. Somewhat. Not to worry. So there we are going through towards sort of mountain biome, uh, underwater islands, that sort of location, which we don't want to be doing right now. 
No. No. Okay, let's go further this way. Check this wreckage around here. There should be sea moth fragments. Is that one? Always look very similar, the sea moth and the bioreactor. It's very frustrating. I'll just scan you. Okay. So as you can see over there, completely different light change. Different biome altogether. Okay, let's check down this location. Now what I may do is get this compass up and running. Get, find the bearings, because at the moment things are slightly out of sync. And this is what this is why I was saying, obviously in the, the guides that I do, always look out for the starting location. It makes a massive, massive difference each and every time we play this. I'm itching, itching for. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, so mushroom forest. Which is on that. So we've got to go on this side. That's a northwest mushroom forest. And then you're going to venture over here and then you're going to overlap. Dive down and that is the main wreckage. Yes, now. I've <laughs> worked, worked it out, guys. Thank God for that. It's panic. A year of playing this game and lost. Sad life I have. <laughs> so guys, as I mentioned, do let me know in terms of what you think um, I should be playing next. Obviously, Sub-Zero is on the horizon, but I, you know, honestly, I don't want to actually touch that until it's near completed. I just think it ruins the game. You're doing a little bit each time. Um, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but I would like to at least see it, you know, 60, 70% complete. At the moment, there's not a lot there. Right, this is the boy now. Right, okay. So with this, there's our third fragment, is it? Yes. Look for that. Right, okay. Beacon. Leave it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, let's call this uh, North, Northwest Wreck. Brassic Plateaus. Ah. I believe that's how you spell it. If it's not, so look. There is Lipod 17. See my friend. Wikipedia. Data. It's surprising as well when you do play this game quite a few times what you find, um, you know, on the new, newer games that you do. Um, I mean, I've literally just discovered in that wreckage, that large wreckage over there, there's a whole different part of it. Um, and just by purely taking your torch down, find it it's like wow oh my god you know 
literally littered in francs. Okay, so let's get back. Uh, let's craft some lockers, get some stuff going, uh, put away, and then see what we've got, what we need, and then hopefully seam off mobile vehicle bay, seam off jobs are good in. And that's where it really starts then. We can really get into it. Uh, I do want depth module. I want the depth module really, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, so. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. Uh, we want a locker. Because we want to. This one, that. Okay, this will do for now. Stack this in there. Nice little storage. See what transmission we've got. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal to PDA. Yeah, that's exactly where we should have been going. So that is pretty much your north, northwest sort of location. Come here. Ah. Right, Right, we're going to need some batteries, guys, because we're going to need those power cells for the seam off. I believe we've got pretty much everything else. Let's delve into here. Um, you're always going to find copper around this location. And obviously the crash fish. Let's let them chase you. Oh, you... Okay, a little bit more cave sulfur. Uh, a little bit more quartz, why not? No copper. Okay, let's find the bearings. Need to make this compass actually at some point. Pretty soon, to be fair. Oh! Edges along cliff face, it's always good. No, 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 and that's what I mean by the copper. It's it's there when you don't need it. When you do need it, it's a real pain. Uh, this tunnel is prime, hopefully. Right, let's give it a go. It's got a lot of quartz in this place, but copper, it's a bit of a funny one. Titanium. Copper. Ah, that's better. There we go. There we go. Right, we certainly don't need any more titanium for, for the minute. But I would like more copper. Right, there we go. That should do, guys. Oof. Why not? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Right. And in there. No. Oh, come here. And I love you as well. Okay, so what we've got now, we need, we're going to convert that, get rid of some of the spaces. Two quartz for one glass, 
which is perfect. And battery. Two batteries we're going to need for the power cell. And silicon rubber, of course. Yep. And power cell. Job's a good one. Okay. We need to build the. So we need one for that, one for that. Uh, so we need to. Plenty of copper, actually. Titanium in got. We've got plenty of titanium. Uh, we need 10. We've got 6. Okay. And what have we got left to get? Lubricant. Easy peasy. Beautiful. So guys, we should be good for the mobile vehicle bay. And Seamoth coming up very, very shortly, which is good, good stuff. Right, okay, so, I mean, obviously with the mobile vehicle bay, you can slam it anyway, you can always move it as well, which is the beauty of it. Uh, put it here for now. Right. How much? So we've got two copper. We need to build some more batteries to the fair. Mushrooms. Uh, none. And we need mushrooms and we need more copper. <sighs> Yay! There we go. You ask and he shall answer. Right. Right, I'm not going to delve into the as of yet. I'm going to just have a look on the outskirts. Not to be fair, had a good look around this location. Mm. One more copper, come on. Please. No. Give me the copper. I've got it. Okay, so... I think now we're going to be good to go with the seam off. Get some of these for the batteries. So two batteries per power cell. That's our second power cell. And as I mentioned guys, you've always got to keep your eyes open. It's when you need it, it's not there. Okay. Boom, boom. Two batteries. Right, okay. Shall build. Uh, power cell silicon rubber. Yep. Nice, 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 nice. What do we need now for the seam off? We need lead, which we have. Titanium ingot, lubricant. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So we've got two. We need a few more. One more. And what else did I say? Titanium ingot. Lead. We should be good to go, guys. I believe the lead is in here. It certainly is, my friend. Um, oh, there we go, guys. Boom. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Warning. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drag core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Two hours? We've not done bad, actually, there, in all fairness. I do want to get the compass going. Um, wiring kit, do you need two silver for that? Yes, you do, which is very annoying. Okay, so... I do want the compass, which is... And then I do think we're complete. Copper wire, again, more copper. Ah. 
Right, let's do it in the seam off. Let's go and get some resources, guys. This is it. This is it now. This is where it's going to really start kicking up. Um, first 10 minutes, well, 20 minutes or so are pretty slow. Get the seam off up and running as soon as you can do. And the world is your oyster, as I say. Okay, so what we want to be doing is essentially looking around this area for silver. Um, quite a good location and easy to spot as well. Sandstones, I'll come down to you shortly. That's another silver. Copper, nice. That's what we needed. Passing 100 meters. Silver. Beautiful, beautiful guys. Okay, quick scout around. Mm. More copper, nice. What we needed. What do we have there? Is that a. No, it's not. Damn! Right, okay, so. What we've got left is. Let's have a look. Uh, ba, 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 ba. So we need copper wire, which is fine. We've got two. Yeah. Yeah. Should be good to go. Get this compass and then start working out what we need. Obviously, I would like the deck module. Um, but obviously, we've got to build a base for that. And then you're talking virtual. Modif well, not modification station, but the actual console. Um, moon pool. There's quite a lot yet, to be fair, that we need uh, before we get those depth modules. But once you sort of hop and run in with the base, you're all good, really. Okay. Nope. This is Lifepod 3, uploading our coordinates. We've nice. We've got some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal good, good, good. Uploaded to PDA. Okay, guys, so let's get some water going. Bit of food, running low on energy and water. Small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Vital science stabilizing. Compass achieved. Much better. Much, much better. Okay, so yeah so effectively that's what i mean obviously on past games i probably spawned way over there way over to the left uh hence northwest so i was sort of going in that direction now where we want to be going now we've got done grassy plateaus we've not covered all that because we need the laser cutter uh high capacity tank I want to check down here as well. Okay, so life of free. No, we don't need to do that. Okay, so we're going to look at getting this laser cutter. Um, see what other goodies we can find. Hopefully the high capacity tank, which would, uh, would be a really good one. Uh, sorry, ultra high capacity tank. And a number of other goodies but we shall see so let's go down here De -de -de. in fact no you know what i'm not going to go down there just as of yet i'll leave that one for now i'm going to venture this wreckage if 
first and foremost, which I think is the one that you need to cut into, but we'll see. And then there's one further south, which you go in from the top. Right, I'm going down here guys. This is going to lead me right to the Grand Reef. But a lot of, lot of goodies this way. I'm going to have to watch the sea level, the depth. Okay. Passing 100 meters. Now, Oxygen as you can see, I'm not doing this in any particular Decreased. Any particular order. Cyclops so step module. Damn! Not what I wanted. I was effectively hoping for the the moon pool fragment will do that. Um was hoping for the ultra high capacity tank, which sometimes spawns in this location. Uh, but not on this one. Okay, anything else? You've got to be careful of warpers around this location. Everything else should be fine. Food and water. 30 seconds. Just gonna room. Oh, it's going down fast. Go! Integrating new PDA data. Go! Two. Three. Oh. oh my god, that was close. Very close. Drill arm. I want to get as many of these fragments as I can while I'm down here. Thermal plant. Uh, what do we need? Uh, let's have a look. Okay, usually stuff up this way. On this occasion there isn't. Du, du, du. Okay. I'm a little bit dubious about venturing to that wreck. Um, it is a deep one. It's a big wreck and you can get very lost. And secondly, you need the laser cutter as well. To really get through it. So, we are going to have to come back in. Right, okay. Let's get back to getting this laser cut, guys. It's going to give us a hell of a lot of more chances in terms of getting those uh, other frags for various other stuff. Cannot believe how close that was. That was ridiculous. I didn't think, I honestly didn't think I was going to make that then. Literally, I went over time. Minus 10 seconds or so. I thought, oh god. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. Okay. So, as you know, lots of wreckages around this area. Keep venturing through, and ultimately you will find the large one, which is right near Life Pod 17, and that is going to give us quite a lot of stuff. Hopefully, it may may very well give us a couple of moon pool fragments on occasion, but it is rare to be fair. Uh, what it may give us as well, modification station frags. And just a chunk of other stuff. Okay, always check. Oh, I want the Comanche. Damn right, I do. New blueprint. Okay, yep, yeah, I want water. 
I don't want the pee there. Anything else? No. Okay, I'm good for oxygen. I want to do it. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, there goes the Aurora. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, oh dear. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Oh! Radiation suit, guys, which is going to allow us to go into Warper City. The radiation suit has been added to your blueprint database. Right. I'm going to get some oxygen. Welcome aboard, Captain. And hopefully, we're going to find some laser cut frags around here. Uh, there's our fest, actually. Very closely missed. Down, down through here, right, and down. Nice, that's better. Modification station frags, beautiful. Battery charger, is that two of two? I believe it is. Oof. Oh. oh no, we don't want that. We want the propulsion cannon, which is always good. And that ah oh. Do you really want this? Oh come on. Alright, come on, go, 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 go. Bloody hell. Cutting this very fine again. But you gotta do it. You gotta go with it. Oh! Shit. Shit, no! Wrong way. Wrong way. Again. Again. Unbelievable. No, guys! I've gave up massively. Oh my god. Usually goose up there. Oh! And that's what happens when you get way too cocky. Way too cocky. So, guys, in that time, we've got the seam off. Thankfully, we've not lost it, um, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to go for that. We've got the laser cutter, which I can now, the blueprint, which I can now craft. And we've got the repair tool, lost my way in that wreckage. It's, it's one of those within those, in that little pipe system. Very annoying. So that's it, guys. I will see you, hopefully, on the next episode. Uh, ciao for now. Bye-bye.